Hey guys, it's the Middle Age Gamer here bringing you another episode of Ship Simulator Extremes. And of course we're going to be doing the campaign, which we've been playing all along, Greenpeace. And as you can see, we're on mission number 6, Engage the Antarctic. And this one is says it's action. <laughs> we'll see about that. Difficulty is going to be medium. The rest of them have been easy or very easy. And the start environment is Sydney instead of Rotterdam, which we just sailed in through, through the gigantic storm on the across the globe mission anyway it says set sail towards the well sanctuary in the antarctic and try to find the whaling fleet disrupt their well hunting activities and save the wells and personally i do want to save the wells so let's go ahead and get into this mission and move forward all right so as you can see we're in the sydney harbor we need to go ahead and plot a course out of sydney harbor so we can get to the sea and save these wonderful wells uh, that we all love to eat. So let's go ahead and plot some coordinates here. Figure out where we're going. Going to that green star right there. And let's put some coordinates. Pretty basic, but uh, here we go. Make it. Uh, let's go ahead and make it eight coordinates total to get out to the ocean. Doesn't matter, you can make it 100 coordinates if you want to. It's completely up to you. It's the wonderful um, decisions in the game you have to make. So, we want to get off the port tier. Let's go ahead and release all this. Release the Kraken. And let's get moving forward. And then we're going to want to move our bow thruster, which I think is this thing. See that thing moving left and right? Towards the left to get our ship pointed that way. And just gonna take my time getting out of here. Doing three knots already, which is quite good. And we're gonna slow down a little bit while the bow thruster helps me out here. I wanna get pointed in the right direction. Okay, so far so good, they're doing their job, and once we get pointed in the right direction, we are going to haul ass out of here. Look at that, we got another ship up there. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, move forward here. Hopefully this guy's not turning towards us, otherwise that's going to be an issue. So let's get our running underway lights on there. And for the sake of getting out of here, we're going to go ahead and blast our horn for everybody. Love you too. Love you too. We're going to save the wells. One more time for the uh, sake of leaving here. There we go. Okay, so obviously we're heading out of the port in Sydney. To the ocean says take the ship out of the harbor and set course for the Antarctic. Good day, Captain. Your first mission will be to patrol the area known as the Well Sanctuary. Please take the ship out of the harbor and proceed towards the Antarctic. All right, so we got our mission, and we can follow my wonderful waypoints here that I took so much time in plotting out. And I'm going to put this game in fast forward for you guys so you're not yawning. And um, don't want any of those ADD YouTube watchers out there to get bored and skip my channel. And I guess you're probably pretty bored either way if you're watching Ship Simulator Extremes on YouTube anyways. But neither here or there. And uh, let's get into it.
All right, so we're out uh, the Haba, and it says take the ship out of the harbor. Okay, well we've already done that. Yeah, let's see the next. Move around the area and try to locate the wellers. This is the area known as the Well Sanctuary. Start patrolling in this area and try to find any sign of human interference. Because of all the icebergs around it, it is recommended to relay more on the radar to detect various movements. Good luck. Okay. And that looks like something over there. And fairly, uh, looks like fairly choppy water. <coughs> not as not as bad as the trip into Sydney, though. So it says rely on radar. Try to find movement, which is what we're going to do. I think there's a guy behind the rock over here somewhere, which is where we're going to be going. And we do not want to hit any icebergs, as you can see. Try to avoid those at all costs. See what that other guy's doing. Not sure which way he's moving as of yet. Hard to tell. But we're going to plot a course to that direction and head over that way. See if we can catch these bastard wellers. Okay, may have to speed this part up. This could be a while. But I'm hoping they're around the island here. Best case scenario. Worst case scenario, we got a lot of uh, boating to do out in the ocean here. Look at all that ocean. That's got to be them back there. Okay, I'm going to put this in fast forward, get off the mic so you're not listening to my dumb ass talk for 30 minutes, and let's get going. Okay, it looks like we're getting damn close to the weller. You can see the top left says there is definitely a strong signal on the radar in this area. It's probably a weller ship hunting. We need to hurry up and catch up with him. Um, but be careful with maneuvering around the icebergs. There are some dangerous waters. Also, make sure you do not lose the signal on the radar. So, we haven't lost signal on the radar. Haven't hit an iceberg, thank God. And we're almost to the ship. It says get close to the weller, which is what we're doing. Not the typical Weller ship I'm used to seeing on TV on that one show, uh, but I guess you could also do it with that. I don't know. It looks like a tugboat from here or something similar to that, but I guess we'll find out. Maybe they're hunting baby whales. Who knows? I don't want to hit that iceberg. That does not look too friendly at all. All right, objective clear, close enough. Deploy the rib, which is what we're gonna do. And uh, this game is slowing down quite a bit. Not sure as to why. Does not look pretty though. I think I'm gonna do an anchor here. It's 
go ahead and pause this real quick because I don't know what is going on. It's just going pretty, pretty damn slow. Maybe something needs to catch up. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to deploy that. Deploy that too. And let's go ahead and deploy our rib. Let's do this one. I'm going to get on the rib. Not sure why this is going so slow. But uh, neither here or there. I'm going to get inside this boat. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. pushed around the rib and it's also very very choppy not sure if it's the game or what oh whoa 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 let's get an exterior view because I can't see it's so damn choppy I can't really see what's going on I'm not sure why I'm angling that way either okay Get towards the well and boat. This game is acting choppy as hell. I know it's not my computer because my computer is top of the line, so maybe the recording software, I honestly don't know. <coughs> so between the well and the hunter, which is what I'm gonna do. Turn on my damn water cannons too. Oh, maybe I don't have it. Yeah, I do have it. Ooh, whoa, whoa! Almost just flipped the boat right there. Try not to flip the boat. not really a good view. I don't want to be in that view. Oh, can almost flip the boat there. Definitely very, very choppy out. <coughs> Game seems like it's moving a little bit slow right now, but I'm going to continue on anyways. First time this has uh, really happened. Objective cleared. Use your water cannon on the whaler. Perfect, that's what I want to do. Spray his boat with the water cannon. sucks on this boat. Let's please move back into the area. We're not in the area. I guess I gotta get in between.
definitely hitting the boat. Not sure <laughs> if I'm hitting the objective though, whatever the hell it wants me to do. Uh, I guess he is. I guess is he turning away? I can't tell. It's just following the uh, the well. So we gotta hit the guy up front. Okay, it says please wait here for 20 seconds. I guess I'm supposed to be hitting the guy trying to shoot the well, it looks like. I can't tell. It's still running a little choppy, but better than whatever it was doing previously. I have my boat anchored. It looks like it's it looks like it's fine on the radar from what I can tell. So I guess I just got to stay here and hit this guy. Nine more seconds. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, tres, four, still stuck on four. There we go, three, two, one. So, yes, yeah, running choppy. <coughs> Alright, let me finish the objective. Excellent, the will got away safely. Go ahead and return the rib. Hopefully, we can do this without killing ourselves. Yeah, still running very, very choppy. Not sure as to why either. Very strange. <coughs> Bad part of the game to be running choppy like that too. God, it looks horrible. Looks like two frames a second. Almost flipped it right there. That would not have been good. Try for the white caps. There we go. Like we are anchored up, which is a positive. Let's not hit the boat. Let's not hit the boat, please. And let's go ahead and get that rib back on. There we go. Ribs on board. Ah, and we actually succeeded the mission right there. Thank God, because it was running absolutely choppy as hell. Anyway, it says very good handling of such a critical situation. You're quite the hero of the day, Captain. We got two points under special, and we got two points for Greenpeace lap time. Our elapsed time was uh, just under 25 minutes. Let's go ahead and see what the reward is here. We, looks like we got another video called Engage the Antarctic Movie. Again, this is the middle-aged gamer here playing Ship Simulator Extremes. Just beat the medium mission, and we're going to go ahead and play this movie for you. Uh, if you have any suggestions or want to see other videos, feel free to leave me some comments on YouTube and appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Bye. We have a very strong nonviolent policy and we don't cross the line. It makes us different from some of the other groups that go down there. It, it's, but it's always been a foundation of Greenpeace nonviolent direct actions. We do not get violent. We will put ourselves in risk. We will go in between the harpoon gun and the, and the whales. That's a privilege to do. But we will not put any whaler at risk. We will not do anything that will affect their boat. Uh, it's just a line we're not prepared to cross. And I'm very happy that we've always taken that tactic because there's enough hatred in the world. We don't need to add to it. We're trying to save it, not make it worse. Our vessel and crew are here in the Southern Ocean to condemn your hunt, which includes endangered species, 
and to insist that you leave the Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary and return to port immediately. We represent millions of people around the world who want to see an end to whaling in the Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary. We join with the majority of people in Japan who do not support whaling on the high seas. The area in which you're hunting has been designated as a Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary, designed to help whale populations recover after the devastating commercial whaling of the last century. If you do not return to port, we will follow your fleet and protest your hunt in the Whale Sanctuary. One of the reasons I joined Greenpeace was I, because I was so intrigued by the idea of putting myself in between a harpoon gun and a whale. It's an action that, it's almost one of the most perfect actions we've ever done. It doesn't need a caption under the picture. It explains everything immediately. We're willing to part ourselves at risk. We're willing to do almost anything to save the whales.